Hey you delicious people, you yes, welcome back. I'm super excited about this video and thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, as you see in my hands, I have a bow tie. And we're gonna be talking about them because for two reasons. One, uh, distinction between different kinds of bow ties and two, we're gonna get this thing on our neck and show you guys how easy it is. The distinction between bow ties is that you have clip-ons and self-tied bow ties and it's all a matter of preference. Uh, typically somebody that hasn't learned how to tie one will use a clip-on because they're already made. All you need to do is latch it onto the front or usually the back and you're done. But there's more of a craft with having to tie your own bow tie, which is why I prefer this method. And also because it has its own personality, every time I tie this same tie, you get a slightly different look and you can manipulate it to look slightly different, which adds so much more personality to a tie. Now, the next step is you want to button up your shirt all the way to the top. That is ideal. You always want to get it up to this top button. I know a lot of people always complain that they don't like it because it like tightens their neck up too much. But if you have a shirt with like a proper fitting, it shouldn't be that bad. Either that or I've just gotten super used to this because I wear this all the time. Next, you get your collar, lift it all the way up and you're pretty much ready to rock and get that bow tie started. Once you lifted your collar up, make sure the number sides are being covered within the inside like this. So on the outside, you just have the same pattern material. Once you have that, just wiggle it a little bit and now we can get started. What I typically do is get the left side and throw it over the right side. I start pulling on this side of the bow tie because I need to get this a little bit closer in. So what you're going to notice is there's a longer side and the shorter side. So remember, the longer side is on the top and the shorter side on the bottom. Once you have that specific length, you will throw the longer side underneath and over. So if you see, there is this hole right there that is produced from this scenario. Once you notice that hole, stick your longer side through here and pull it over. Now what you're gonna do is tighten the bow tie. And this determines how tight your bow tie is going to be. So ideally for me, I like it pretty tight. Once I tighten it enough, get this long side and throw it over because we're not gonna need it for right now. Now we're focusing on the shorter side. Get this, you wanna get, it doesn't matter your index or your middle finger. I like to use the middle finger. Pull it, so let's, let's redo that step. Pull this like that. Usually you want some kind of tension, but it's not always necessary. And what you wanna do is you want to get this side to fall right in the middle of the knot that you just made right here. So by knot, I mean this, what is tightening up this side to that side right here. You pull this up here and you wanna get your thumb and hold the back. So this is how it would look without the first part. Your thumb's going to be right here and you're going to hold the bow tie right in the middle. So this is gonna be your centerpiece. And when you lift this part up, you want this in the middle. So put your thumb back there and your index finger right here. Now you have a hold of the back part of your bow tie. And now this is where the back part comes in. You throw this to the front. Remove your index finger just to release this part and put it back there. Remember, don't let go of your thumb back here. What you're doing now is you're getting ready to start making the knot. You have your longer part and the reason why you want it longer is because this is the part that requires a little bit more of the cloth because you're going to be tying this up to this part. You see how this is kind of like a little ribbon? You want to get the same effect from here but tying this like that. So let's repeat that again. I should move to So let's repeat that again. Get this and fold it in half like that. And then hold this part. So let's repeat. Get this cloth, fold it in half, and pull it in. So you're gonna put it, pull it in like this. Now after having your thumb in the back and your index finger in the front, you have 
this little hole in the back, which if you lift your back finger a little bit, you can feel it. Get your index finger with your other hand and you can feel the hole right here. It's right there. That longer part, once you fold it in half, will go in through there, through right here. Hopefully you can see that. Because once you get it in there, that's pretty much tying your bow tie. So let's repeat. Put your thumb back there, index finger here, get this side, fold it in half. Now, get the top part of this fold and stick it through that hole in the middle. This is always the tricky part, try to find that little hole. Once you have it in, now let's flip this way. Now you can pull it out this way. So essentially, we have both sides in here. So there you go. Now without tightening up anything, I have this part and the back part and now all I need to do is tighten it up to get that bow tie to its natural look. What you want to do is get the flaps, the sides that are closed up and pull on those. That's how you tighten this bow tie. So they're the opposite, the one in the back and the one in the front. Pull on both of those and now what I do is because there's not enough space, you want to get the single sided part which is the opposite ones and pull back on them and you're gonna notice the bow tie is starting to tighten up. What I like to do is give my bow ties a little dimple. So what you're seeing right now is with my index fingers, I'm creasing the middle part of the bow tie on both sides to make it symmetrical. So as I start tightening up the bow tie, that little dimple stays intact. Now get these sides of the bow tie and pull on them. Now repeat, pull the single sided ones out and pull the double sided ones back in. So now this bow tie is pretty tight. Ideally, I would have a mirror and I can see exactly how symmetrical it is, but because I'm shooting this footage, I'm just basing it off of my feel. All we need to do is cover this up because we still have the collar up here. So fold your collar back in and make sure the collar doesn't show any part of the bow tie. So push everything inside so nothing becomes visible outside of the collar, only this front part. So there you have it. This is exactly how you get a bow tie going. You can get a little bit more technical in it, but ideally, being able to get that dimple, I think that's very crucial. If you can get that technique down, get your index fingers and make that crease, you will obtain this dimple. And it just gives so much more look to your bow tie. It ends up looking really good. And I, it's hard to do this without having a mirror, but when you do it at home, look at yourself in the mirror so you know that you're getting the bow tie symmetrical. Because once you can visualize that, you can adjust it properly to give you that beautiful symmetry. These self-tied bow ties, they pop out. If you look at the uh, clip-ons, usually they're really flat and they're really easy to notice. But these have this different dimension that makes them so much more beautiful. Lastly, how do you untie this bow tie? Uh, if you pull on the side, so it's really cool because the side where you can stick your index finger in and pull, that tightens the bow tie. The sides with one flap, if you pull on them, you unloosen the bow tie. So if you pull on any of the single sided parts of the bow tie, you will loosen up the bow tie and undo it. So that's essentially how you undo your bow tie. So I really hope you guys found this video really useful. Uh, it's it takes some practice, but I know you guys got this like within a few tries You guys will be masters at it and just remember that dimple part because the dimple is pretty key You don't need it, but it just looks so much better And then once you have that just make sure you have that symmetry between both ends of the ribbon and you're good to go Thank you guys so much for watching this. I really appreciate it I hope you guys have a little bit more of an appreciation for the bow tie because it's pretty unique and whoever figured this out and how to get this going it's just a genius so thanks to that contribution I can wear bow ties every day whenever I want 
and feel more confident and more stylish. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Hey everyone, yes, I'm super stoked. Today we're going to talk about two guys. Oh.